Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Silver Lady Miss Joy here. How are you doing? Hope your day is well. Hope your day is, well. Hope your day, your day is good. I shared um, some pictures of my marriage. Um, I got married eight years ago in Jamaica on the sand. Very nice. And um, most people found it okay. One friend said, oh, she prefers my good vibe. And I said, it is a good vibe because we should celebrate our story, our life even though it may not have um, ended the way we hoped or we envisioned, still celebrate it. So I celebrate it for what it was and what joy it gave me and the experience I had. Um, I look at it as a positive, not a negative, not because we're not together. I'm going to wallow in the negativity. I don't, I've learned not to do that as quick as I can. I'm not saying it didn't take me um, maybe a couple of years to get over the, um, the loss of the togetherness, the love, the, the um, having a husband, because um, it had me thinking, um, I got married pretty late in my life, not because I couldn't get married, not that it's in a competition when you get married at what age, but I could have got married when I was younger, so I, I waited 30 years later and got married at age 51, and it was quite, when I think about it, I'll talk about our relationship and then I'll, let's go on this track, when I think about it, it was very lonely getting married at that age it was lonely because I moved areas so I was in a new location obviously didn't know anyone I had family up there but they were busy in their life so it was really lonely very very lonely time um, and I will, I will touch on that again but yeah so I met my husband in the area that I moved to Milton Keynes because I've got um, a brother with his family living there. We met at her party, actually. My niece had a graduation party. We met, and my sister realised, oh, you're being chatted up. I didn't even realise I was. So, yeah, we got to exchange numbers, and so we began the relationship. Um, I think a month later, I decided I'll go up, and, yeah. And <laughs> I'm laughing because we went to Kentucky, our first meal of all places, never mind, whatever. It was late, and it was like I just got off a train, and we went into Kentucky. And the young girl, the young server, realised that I was a bit giddy. <laughs> when I think back about it, I was a bit giddy. Oh, something like that. she said something about oh, you're in love, or something like that. She said because we was having kind of a, a jokey, um, jovial um, conversation. So that was funny. She recognised that. Anyway, yeah, we got together. And we spent four years, five years of an amazing relationship. Obviously, you have your, whatever, your, 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 your few downs. We had a few downs, but mostly it was amazing. We visited lots of um, different cities in the uh, uh, in UK because we went to Edinburgh. Edinburgh was amazing. We went a weekend away to Edinburgh. Oh, amazing. We've been to Edinburgh, Bristol, Manchester, Birmingham. And then we went to a five-star hotel in Hertfordshire called the Graham Hanbury Manor. Hanbury Manor, we went, yeah. Absolutely amazing time. We, yeah, can't fault it at all, but, you know, that's just part of life. So, yeah, um, my husband messed up his, um, he came here on a study visa and he messed it up. So he overstayed his welcome. So the, the immigration um, realised that, yeah, we were a couple. So we went down and got married in Jamaica. Oh, my God, an amazing, amazing time. Amazing hotel, the Grand Bahia. Principal, I think it's called, in Runaway Bay. Amazing. They gave us, we had the package, the wedding package. It was absolutely amazing. Um, brilliant. My children came. My eldest said, Mum, this is paradise. Uh, it, it was an amazing holiday. Um, everybody was, yeah. Well, yeah. There was a guy in the restaurant in particular. His name was um, Austin. We were looking for him to thank him and gave him a note, whatever you want to call it, um, but we didn't find him. So if you're ever watching this, Austin, thank you very much. When we came down to lunch, breakfast, dinner, whatever um, time of the day, he would see us and call us and, and find us a table, you know, seat. And um, I think maybe on a third time he did that, I had to ask him, why, do, um, why are you so uh, courteous? So he goes, you're my kings and queens. I must look after you, make sure you have a grand time. And he surely did. He was amazing. I've never been treated like that before in my life. He, from a, an individual, he was amazing. And then after that, yes, 
I started realising, let me see how people are treating me. He was just exceptional. Austin, thank you so much. I'm sure his name was Austin. My ex-husband will um, have to, I must ask him what was that guy's name, because I've never forgotten him. He was so amazing to us. Um, so yeah, the wedding was amazing. We had a wedding coordinator, she was brilliant. Oh, it was amazing. The floral, everything about it was lovely. I had to, all, I had to do, all I had to do was get ready. I must admit, I didn't like the front of my hair. That always still bugs me. But apart from that, in certain positions I like it. In other, when I'm facing off it, oh my God, I wish I'd said, hold the brakes, this needs to be sorted. But I don't know, I didn't want to be late and I should have just fixed it. If I had to go back in time, this is what I'd fix. I'd do something different with the front of my hair. Other than that, everything else was perfect because I think I could have looked taller rather than, even though I don't really need to look tall because my husband was only that much taller than me but still it's the only thing that bugs me about it other than that everything else was flawless 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 amazing brilliant and of course it would be nice if my family was there but it was a quick turnaround yeah that we just did it quickly and I didn't want to burden anyone with I bet I did invite them but it was just a quick it was too quick for them to make that decision and make that plans to come so that was fine um, never did I think I'd be getting married with just eight of us that wasn't in my plan in my life. But there you go, things happen and then you just get on with it really at the end of the day. So yeah, the wedding was lovely. And then fast forward, um, I'm talking about this in order so one can celebrate one's, what you might determine as a, a negative or a loss, celebrate them. So this is what I've been doing the whole of the week or the whole couple of days I've been sharing my, my picture without him of course, because he's not, um, he hasn't given me permission permission to show him I'm not so um what's the word is it callous so I just show myself in my beautiful dress <laughs> I might insert a picture here if you haven't followed if you don't follow me on Instagram and why don't you you should um yeah so getting married at 51 is very um can be quite lonely because when you get married when you're younger the next thing you know you're having children so you're meeting other people with children so you kind of get in that friendship group going, 51 now, who are you meeting? Where are you going? I found it very, that like, very, very lonely. And I remember sending an email to um, Red Magazine about, do they, have they ever done a feature on getting married at an older age and what the pitfalls and the um, pluses and minus are, but I don't remember them getting back to me at all. They might have said thank you for your email, but will get in touch and they never did but that was it I didn't um, they didn't make it into a feature and if they did I wasn't involved um, but I still like Red Magazine um, yeah very lonely uh, would I do it again um, yes because that's part of my life there's things that we it, our life is already mapped out so of course yes I would love if it was different that I was still with the person but it's that's also not meant to be so you move on do I look unhappy do I look like I'm pining no I've pined already I pined for a, a year or so I pined the loss no I have moved on but I'm sharing it because I'm happy to share it and I think everyone should just share if you're able some of us are not able maybe you need therapy maybe you just don't want to share it you don't care enough leave it where it is that is fine everybody makes their own decision so I just thought I'd make this video and explain, not explain, but share another part of my life with you. Do I, am I in contact with my ex? Not really. We've said uh, have a good life to each other quite recently, a nice email, I must stop, stop doing that. But we don't, yeah, he's doing his life and I'm doing mine, yeah. But I think it's very sad that when things end, it just don't, we, it's like we want to bury it and you think, oh, a minute, that's part of my life. The only, part we tend to hold on to is especially the ones where we have children if you've got children with a husband or a partner then that's always evident unless they deem otherwise but other relationship we tend to just bury them why do we do that hmm that's a question why do we do that why do we bury it and also comment down below why do we bury our relationship and also um are you getting married are you planning to get married are you in your 50s? Have you got married in your earlier years? Are you getting married again for the second time? 
comment down below. It'd be interesting to um, start a conversation. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Please watch my video, subscribe, share, press the notif notification bell. Then you'll be notified when I'm uploading. I try and upload every Friday and I've been doing so for the last seven weeks. So that's the plan. So you'll get no ding, you'll get a notification because I think you put your email address um, on, the, on the feature. I haven't done it for quite a while. Or you just ding the bell and you get notified. I think that's how it works. I'm not even sure. Cut that bit out actually, uh, Michael. Don't say that. <laughs>